Hey guys, this is Kevin, and for today's video, I wanted to share a little bit about uh, Filipino courtship, which is uh, it's known there in the Philippines as ligao. That's the Tagalog word for it. And what I'd like to do is is, is contrast the way Filipinos approach dating and courtship versus the way Americans tend to, and just kind of uh, give you some cultural insights. Uh, when I moved to the Philippines, I remember asking of one of my new friends over there about how he met his wife and he told me about talked to me about uh, meeting her and then he kind of casually said that after a couple of weeks he proposed to her and you know I was listening but that kind of struck me as weird because I was thinking you asked this girl to marry you after a couple of weeks and that's not what happened I had just misunderstood him because what he was telling me is after a couple of weeks, he had asked her to be his girlfriend officially. So that's that story kind of introduces the first major difference between Filipino courtship versus American courtship. It tends to be a little bit more formal. It's a little more formal. And uh, the way that it would typically work is, let's say a guy uh, meets a girl and he likes her. The first step is he would ask her for permission to court her. So he would say something like, Puede uh, ba ligawan? Can I court you? And if she's willing to give him a chance, then she will say, okay. Now, she's not committing to anything at this point. She's just saying, okay, I will, you know, I will allow you to uh, take me out and send text and call me and that kind of thing. Uh, or if she's not interested, let's say she has a boyfriend or something like that, then she will just say, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. But that's the first step. And at some point, after that first step, what would happen is they would officially become a couple. After a couple of weeks, he may, as I mentioned just now, he may uh, propose and say, will you be my girlfriend, yes or no? Or after a certain period of time, she may just go ahead and say, okay, I'll be your girlfriend. Because remember, he's already initiated courtship. So... Uh, in other words, it's more formal, and the nice thing about that is it tends to let the couple know exactly where they stand with each other. Either they're in a relationship or they're not yet in a relationship, but that, that formality, I think, makes the, the, the communication a little bit more clear. Now, a, a second difference that, I would, uh, that I've noticed about the way Filipinos approach dating versus the way Americans do is that uh, in the Filipino culture, dating and courtship is, is very much driven towards a relationship. Or another way to put it is, it's very serious. So, uh, in one thing that I've noticed in particular, you know, here in the States, you get people that kind of do, you know, they, they call it hanging out. It's not really clear exactly what they're doing. Or you have people that, uh, that just kind of date without any real serious... Uh, goal in mind. In the, the typical Filipino, especially the typical Filipina, if you approach her about dating her or courting her, she is going to assume that you're serious about a relationship because otherwise why, you know, why waste your time with it? So a Filipino courtship is geared towards first, you know, are we going to be a couple? Are we going to make this official that we're boyfriend or, or girlfriend? And then after that, obviously, the next step would be, are we going to get married? Are we, are we compatible enough, and do we love each other, and are we going to commit to marriage? And uh, that's the way it works. So just to kind of review, uh, the Filipinos, in terms of courtship, it tends to be more formal. That's the first thing, the, the communication in it. And then uh, secondly, it's more, it tends to be more serious. Now, I'll... Uh, tell you another thing that I've noticed uh, in, in Filipino culture, and that is that uh, Filipinos are hopeless romantic. It's really kind of nice. It's really, for me, it's, it's refreshing in that I noticed that, that Filipinos are very sweet and that they're very romantic and they really believe in, in love. They really believe in long-term relationships. They really believe in marriage and kind of uh, happily ever after. And 
that's just their approach to life. And you will see that in the media, in the, the kind of shows they watch, in the songs that they listen to. Uh, for them, uh, falling in love and getting married, it's, it's very important. And most of them really believe in that. They, they want it to happen to them. And it's one of going to be one of their uh, one of their main goals in life. So, uh, having said all this, what advice would I give you with all this in mind on uh, dating a Filipina? Uh, the first thing I would say is make sure that your intentions are very clear. So, uh, let's say you're an expat living in the Philippines. You may meet a girl and ask her out for coffee or something, and in your mind, it's just not that big of a deal. But in her mind, you may be really serious about uh, you know, being in a relationship with her. So whatever your intentions are, uh, be very clear and open and honest about that and make, make sure that there are not any uh, miscommunications. Or uh, let's say you're chatting with someone. After you've chatted with her for you know, a few weeks, again, she may assume that you're really serious about it and you're planning to come see her soon. Because, again, she's a hopeless romantic, probably, and you may not be serious. I don't know, but I, I, would, you know, I don't know what your, what your plans are. But whatever they are, you need to make it very clear and uh, just make your intentions you know, perfectly, 100% clear. I know I keep saying that over and over, but uh, it's important. Uh, another thing that I would advise you to do, and I haven't, brought, I haven't uh, said anything about this yet, but if you get really serious about a Filipina, it's very important that you meet her family and kind of win them over too. Because family is everything in the Philippines and it will mean, it will mean a lot to her if you take the time to meet her family and talk to them and uh, tell them what your intentions are with, you know, with their daughter, granddaughter, or whatever. And so that's another thing that I would uh, advise you to do. But uh, anyway, hopefully what I've shared with you has, uh, has helped. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion, just leave it. Uh, you can just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to do another video soon.